Hello and welcome to AppInf Experimentation Mondays. Today we're continuing the machine learning REST API experiment. In previous weeks, we have set out upon our roadmap, sketching out REST API using a design first tool. We have some basic wireframes and mockups of the possible user interface. And today uh, we've kind of chosen a REST framework to start developing out the basics of the API and scaffolding the initial REST. So to recap, um, one of the goals from an end user perspective will be to have a modular user interface that allows you to build machine learning services by dragging and dropping machine learning modules onto a canvas and connecting them. And behind the scenes, we want to have a REST API powering all of those modules so that you can easily deploy those uh, services. To power the REST API, we chose the LEPO Contract First REST API framework that uses Django REST framework. We started sketching out the API just with one endpoint for now using our open source Open API Designer tool, which is also available on GitHub. Uh, this API has one endpoint. The first step in most machine learning flows is to get some data and usually into a pandas data frame if you're in the Python programming environment. So our post save CSV as data frame endpoint takes one parameter, it's a CSV URL. So we'll go ahead and try making a request here. We'll make this request to the portal, the uh, Tampere Avoin data. I can copy one of their available CSV files and paste it in and send the request. It takes a little bit of time to parse the request. But while that's loading, I'll go ahead and go over to the Django admin interface. From the home screen of the Django admin interface, we see that I've got three models here the two groups and users that come with Django and I've created a model for data to hold the uh, data frame objects that we retrieve. We can see that the data frame has been successfully retrieved and the originating URL was stored as part of the model. The next ideas will be to take those data frames now that they're persisted in a local database and to be able to bring them into these other processing modules, training classifiers, um, and all the way to deploying a machine learning flow for public use. Okay, well thank you very much for your time and have a great day.